we're going to end the week on a soggy note. Some rain is on the way. Meteorologist Kate Bilo timing it all out, but at least that could mean a little break from all this heat, right, Kate? It, indeed, it does mean a break from the heat. Temperatures tomorrow, Jessica, will struggle to get into the 80s after a stretch of five days well in the 90s. The leading edge of this system is moving through right now, and storms have actually turned severe across parts of our area where we do have a severe thunderstorm warning to tell you about right now. This line of storms, again, along the leading edge of this system, cutting right right across the city of Philadelphia right now, right into Camden and Gloucester counties in New Jersey does have a severe thunderstorm warning with it. That's the box you see right there for winds gusting to 60 miles an hour. We also have one cell to watch moving over the Delaware Bay and headed very quickly toward Cape May County with lots of lightning and heavy downpours as well. But it's this particular storm right here, South Philly getting just absolutely poured on right now. Also right down toward Washington Township in New Jersey. Another piece of energy piece of this storm has broken off across central Montgomery County with a lot of rain and lightning and this severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until 1145 for strong winds possibly as high as 60 miles an hour and the potential for some small hail and we're also tracking of course that cell moving quickly toward Cape May County and you can see the difference if you were with us at 10 o'clock on the CW Philly this camera was completely quiet now it is pouring in Philadelphia heavy downpours as this line of storms moves on through so once that first line shifts out I don't really expect much more to turn severe overnight. We'll be looking more at just pockets of rain overnight and into tomorrow morning. Temps have dropped quite a bit. In fact, about 10 degrees in the past hour, thanks to the rain moving in. 75 in Philly right now, 77 in Millville, and it's 74 in Wilmington. So thunderstorms around tonight, staying warm and muggy at 73. Tomorrow we'll have showers and storms through most of the day, especially morning right through mid-afternoon. Cooler, but still very humid with these showers and storms firing up. 81 in the city, 80 down the shore. Not your best beach day. 60% chance of rain throughout the course of the day. So here's what that looks like. Rain overnight and then we'll have scattered rain tomorrow as well. Pocket of rain across the city around 8 or 9 o'clock. Could be some rumbles of thunder as well as we head toward noon. By late afternoon and evening it will start to dry out a bit so your trip down the shore if you're headed away for the weekend might be better later in the day and into the evening. We're also still watching Tropical Storm Isaias. Here's the latest update from the National Hurricane Center. It is still a tropical storm. It is still forecast to strengthen into a Cat 1 hurricane by the weekend and then lift up the coast. We are now in the cone of concern for that system, though it will start speeding up as it moves up the coast next week. We're looking at Tuesday as when tropical moisture starts to lift into our area as that storm lifts up the coast throughout the day Tuesday and likely into Wednesday morning as well. We'll see some heavy rainfall. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, a stray thunderstorm possible Saturday or Sunday, otherwise some sun upper 80s this weekend, but then the moisture from Isaias gets in here by Tuesday and we'll be looking at the threat for some heavy rainfall. Jessica, we'll send it back to you. All right, Kate, thank you.